Karen. Karen. Hello, Karen. I've heard you talk about what the cross represents, Ramana Maharshi's teaching, and what the body represents. Could you please go over that again? Well, Karen, it's, it's really very simple. The body represents the cross. It's the I am the body notion. When we are identified with the body, with the I am the body notion, That is the cross. We are nailed to the cross to the extent that means we're totally attached to it, nailed to it, unable to get free from it. As long as we are totally identified with this I am the body notion living in time and space as a, an apparent entity, a separate being living apart from God, the source, the allness of being. Jesus, the Son of Man, is the ego. And it's the ego that lives identified with the body and the mind, living in time and space. Jesus, the Christ, is the resurrection. That's when we cease identification with the body and the mind. and remain in the pure I am, the absolute stillness and silence of pure being, just as we were, if you were, before and if you are now. The stillness the silence of the thought-free awareness of pure being. Prior to the mind, free of the ego, in the pure awareness of the self, when the ego is dead, when it has been effaced, when it has been annihilated, when it has been totally dissolved into the pure being of the of pure consciousness. There is no longer a mind, for the mind and the ego are synonymous. So this is the resurrection. When we awaken to the pure being of the self and are able to abide forever in this pure being in thoughtless awareness. Feel it right now. It's more important to have the event as your own than to have an explanation of it. Are you with me, Karen? Yes, Ramana. Okay. Yes, thank you so much. 
All right, thank you for your question. One day, all of us must drop the identification with the body absolutely. The day may come sooner or later. If we have dropped identification with the body and the mind sooner, then we will be able to do it easily later. Simply see this. Our ongoing identification with the body-mind, as though the body-mind is the self, is what keeps us in the ongoing state of sin. Sin is not meaning that we're a bad person. Good and bad are states of mind. They are states in the world. Pure being is the self that we are. It is neither good nor bad. It is prior to all distinctions and totally free of all distinctions. We can abide in the pure awareness of being even while engaged in ordinary activity of daily life. <clears throat> the self is infinite and eternal. It's not affected by time and space. So we can abide in the pure awareness of the self prior to the time and space even while the body is living in time and space and functioning in time and space. You don't give thought to every step that you take when you're walking unless you lose your balance. But while you're walking, it's very ordinary, easy and natural for you to do so without thought. In such an ordinary activity as walking and moving about the body, when it can be done without thought, do we not see that it is possible to do everything else without thought as well? Driving an automobile is done without thought. We think when we reach the destination or a particular intersection or perhaps when an automobile is in the cross section of the intersection, but look to see for yourself how many times You've gotten into your automobile and have driven for several blocks and can't even remember whether the signal light was green or red that you went through on re reaching a particular destination. See for yourself how often you are able to accomplish actions without giving thought to those actions. They happen naturally. To the extent that we can and do withdraw our attention into the pure awareness of being, remaining in the pure awareness of being as the pure awareness of being, we will become more and more capable 
of functioning in time and space without identification with the body in time and space. It is possible. It just requires our involvement consciously, our practice. Practice without ceasing because it's identification with the body and the mind and the sense of I and the sense of separateness from the source that is the one and only cause of all suffering, all doubt, all fear, all worry, all concern. However, when we abide in the pure awareness of being, as the pure awareness of being, there is no fear, no worry, no suffering, no doubt, and no concern. It requires thought to have any of these. And when we abide in the pure awareness of being, prior to thought, without thought, there are none of the limitations, the concerns, the trials and tribulations of ordinary life. It's what Jesus called living in the world but not of the world. This we're all capable of if we will practice it by withdrawing our attention into the pure awareness of the being that we actually are and remain in this being that we are as this being that we are without identification with what we're not. We are not the body. We are not the ego. We are not the mind. We are the pure awareness, pure <coughs> consciousness. This is living in the resurrected awareness of pure being. Now, let's all remain to the best of our ability in this consciousness of faultless awareness, the peace of the very self, the only true freedom. Feel it right now. The movementlessness, the motionlessness. The movelessness of the mind. Absolute stillness. Fully alert. Remain alert in the stillness.
This is the natural state of being. The natural state is awareness without thought. When there are no random thoughts, uncontrolled thoughts occurring, this is the natural state. Absolutely still, silent, the peace, as Jesus said, that passes all understanding. It is totally unreasonable, totally uncaused, not the result of anything. It just is. It's pure isness. See for yourself. Thought disturbs this stillness, this peace of the self. Thus see for yourself that the self is pure consciousness prior to the mind. Prior to thought. This is the resurrection and the life. Jesus said it this way, I am the resurrection and the life. The pure I am that we all are is the resurrection and the life. Know this as your own true nature. Abide in it as it and be happy. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.